okay so in the last session what we did we discussed about all these concepts right all we completed right we discussed about what is the meaning of moac third party payments zero payments supplier and employer refund what is the petty cash system and foreign currency supplier merge holds and releases pay groups okay up to pay groups we discussed okay done. fine <clears throat> so now the concept is just three uh, concept we are trying to understand okay once we're done with that we'll go by setups and process just going to remove this pay group related we discussed the next concept is lookups it's very simple so in the system when you are recording the transaction you can find some predefined values right in elbow take simple and best example as invoice types invoice types who created who created invoice types they are there as a within the product right those are predefined by oracle right so that kind of predefined values we call as lookups lookups and quick codes both are same very beginning stage oracle just given the name as quick codes after that they change the name to lookups still in few applications you can find it as a lookups in other applications you can find as a quick codes both are same lookups or quick codes both are same just take the definition what does it mean by okay lookups means the predefined values we can maintain by using lookups the help of lookups we can maintain the predefined values okay with the lookups concept you can maintain predefined values to lookups we can maintain predefined values lookups we can maintain the predefined values example invoice types payment types and many other values okay all comes under lookups okay we discussed about pay group right we discussed about pay group what is the use of pay group we can group the supplier for payment purpose even the pay group what are the classifications we have the different classifications we discussed those classifications also you can define by using the lookups lookups those classifications you can create as a lookups okay as a predefined values that's all the simple concept we you know in payables we created invoices okay we created invoices individual invoices the same invoices you can create through batch also if you create invoices through batch what is the advantage okay say for example you have to create 100 invoices if you are going to enter the invoices directly you may miss one or two invoices or else you may enter the wrong invoice amount after entering all the invoices you may not realize how many invoices are missing in the how many you just forgot missed out in the entry and how much amount is wrongly entered you cannot understand but if you go with the invoice batch what you can do is how many invoices you want to enter you can specify and for all those invoices, how much amount you can enter, how much amount you have to enter, the two primary values you can enter. How many invoices you want or planning to enter, what would be the amount. amount you can enter. Then you can start entering the invoices one by one. Then system will start counting. So I given 10 invoices, amount is 20 lakhs. Then I started entering. I entered three invoices and four lakhs. Then system will be showing actually planned invoice are 10, entered four. four. The difference is six. Planned amount is 20 lakhs, entered amount is 4 lakhs, and the variance is this is how it will be showing that. Then that would be very good information for the users. So that, that is a good adv basic advantage we have with the invoice batch. Not only that, there are some other advantages also. When you are working on the invoice batch, we can understand that. For now, simple point you can take. Okay, with invoice batch, we can control the, we can set control on invoice number and invoice amount. With the invoice batch, we can control the invoice number and do invoice amount.
with invoice batch we can control the invoice in, uh, number of invoice and the total amount for the invoices that's all simple and other point is so you can use either individual invoice entry or invoice batch you can both you cannot use at a time at a time in the sense both cannot be activated at a time if you are using the invoice workbench you have to disable invoice workbench individual invoice process if you are entering through that by default the invoice batch process will get disabled only one you can use okay if you want to use other you have to disable one and you have to go with other for that we have a profile option we'll we'll see when we are working on it the next concept is payment manager okay payment manager okay the same payment manager within that basically this future which we'll be using is ppr payment process request you can call with any name but actually this is what will be performing in the system okay the environment the functionality is payment process payment manager within that this is the actual name which will be using for payments so we know how to make the payment right how to make the payment how to make the payment please answer like how to make the payment do you know how to make the payment they have to answer please sorry how to make the payment how to make the payment it's not a some different question here come on just general question how to make the payment sorry payment method okay how to make the payment in the system there all answers are correct but actual answer is there how to make the payment think the same question in the interview you are facing what do you answer you say this and that some people are saying invoice should be there or something yes and why should be there i am not asking what should be there to make the payment how to make the payment to provide to provide payment in payment payment method any other answers in excel bank account in excel we have to select payment that is the point okay we can make the payment in uh, two ways as of now whatever we have seen one is from payment workbench the other one is through painful option if you are spending time these answers will come immediately otherwise whatever the answers are coming those only will be keep coming okay so we how to make the payment means how to make the payment in the system through payment workbench you can make the payment and by using the painful i am not asking what are the payment method somebody is saying uh, check electronic methods and all something not right okay so and uh, apart from those two options but finally it's a painful or payment batch payment uh, workbench both are same there you are selecting invoice in painful you are navigating to payment workbench you are processing through payment workbench or else directly you can come to payment workbench there you can select painful. supplier and do bank account details finally you can select invoice to process but in case of pay painful first we are selecting invoice then we are navigating to payment workbench already since we selected invoice first we are giving the payment details that's it and apart from this those two comes under manual payment process manually we are processing the payments and other option is payment process request in other words you can call it payment manager okay the payment manager from the future will be using the payment process request to process the payments take simple point with the payment process request you can automate the payment process the payment process request we can automate the payment process <coughs> sorry With the payment process request we can automate the payment process payment process request we can automate the payment process Okay, with the payment process request we can automate the payment process clear right okay what point to take in with the payment process request we can automate the payment, payment process. process how we can automate there should be some condition there should be some rule when we are making the manual payment what we are doing in the payment workbench header level we are selecting i mean above we are selecting we want to make the payment to which supplier by using which bank account we are selecting some information 
that's nothing but some conditions or rules or criteria you can call in the same way here the point also we can automate the payment process by using the payment manager by following certain criteria okay the payment process request we can automate the payment process by following certain criteria nothing but conditions okay by using the payment process request we can automate the payment process by following certain criteria the criteria can be anything see here in the payment process request you can go and give some supplier name you can give one supplier name then system will select only that supplier invoices for payment or else we already discussed pay group right you can go to the payment process request there you give pay group the pay group is assigned to how many suppliers only that supplier invoices only it will be selecting and there are many other options also if you don't give any supplier it will select all the suppliers information there are many options when you are working on it i'll just add few more points for your better understand okay but simple point for now the payment process request we can automate you no need to go and select one by one invoices okay automatically system will select invoices which invoices not employee customer invoices no which invoices i am asking not debit memo that is not the right answer my question again is which invoices it will select that is the point okay which invoices are falling under the given criteria those invoices not supplier invoices or employee invoices okay the which invoices means which invoices we discuss right only the criteria is important condition is important which falling under that condition those invoices to select when you look at the process basically it's a four a four steps process first you will give some criteria based on that system will select the invoices just make a note you will select the invoices then it will build those invoices that it will format and confirm okay first it will select the invoices then it will build the invoices and it will format and it will confirm what is the meaning of each and every stage i will explain you when you are working on it okay fine i'll explain you what is the meaning of it fine so this is the final stage in this stage only the invoice will get converted as a payment record i'll explain detail level but now my intention is just i want to introduce the process steps that's all so don't try to understand what is the meaning inside i'll just explain you when you are doing in the system okay so two points two points you have to understand here the payment process request okay payment process request you can automate the payment process by following certain criteria and the entire process will be involved the automation process is involved in four steps selection build format and confirm what exactly meaning of each and every stage this we can say four stages we'll discuss we'll see when you are working on the system i'll explain you other relevant points done clear right that's all about payment process request generally most of the cases the companies will use this practice only if they want to give invoice payment for one or two invoices in that case they can go with the manual option what we tried right that's all and other one is here nothing we are going to discuss now after completing all these concept okay after completing all these concepts in the system okay i'll just give you the accounting entries in the p2p accounting entries okay when you create the receipt what is accounting entry when you deliver the material what is accounting entry when you create the invoice what is accounting entry when you make the payment and when you do the reconciliation okay in all the cases what is accounting entry how accounting will get nullified what would be the final entry from which source from which place system will be taking the accounting entries these and all we have to understand you should remember okay and later we'll discuss about payable accounting entries means we have a different type of invoices right for all for a different different scenarios for each and every invoice type what is the accounting entry system will be creating that will be discussing after that what are the data what are the invoices information and payment information we are recording the system the data will be stored in the tables, tables. so specific module related tables we call as base tables yes. so ap related invoice information and payments information suppliers information where that is getting stored 
will discuss and what i'll do is i'll take uh, maybe a couple of uh, minutes session on that how to query the data from tables also i'll show, I'll show you i'll give you the major tables and tables and we'll have a some i mean uh, maybe 5 to 10 minute session on the same how to query the data what data will be existed how to view the data how to write the simple uh, syntax simple commands to analyze the data and all we'll be discussing the other point is ap interfaces the interfaces means if you want to bring the data from other application to tables okay from any other application to tables it can be oracle application or non oracle application which is not oracle application from any other application to oracle if you are going to bring the data we have to use the interfaces i'll explain in detail level what is the meaning of interface what are the type of interfaces we have everything i'll explain and again within those uh, interfaces we'll be having the interface tables that i'll explain in detail level for now not not required <coughs> and the other point is we have many reports for tables but primarily which reports generally we'll be using or which reports we have to suggest to the client as a best information related reports and all we'll be discussing okay this is how we'll do in today's session what we'll do we'll work on moac <coughs> moac let me ask questions here so when you talk about moac here first one first one is it please how many like what do you mean by moac sorry multi organization i didn't explain like that next one multi org access multi org only you don't need to say when you say organization then you can say multiple organizations right why you are ignoring multi as a multi only so that see actual meaning is that multi org means multiple organization but when you say that how we have to use it that you should use in that way okay what do you mean by moac please Could you please explain yeah moac means multi org access control yeah tell me uh, the help of your security profile why security profile you are going please mm -hmm. don't refer that is not at all no no use at all <coughs> by using moac we can handle multiple operating units by using the responsibility handle it's a different term Sorry. multiple operating units by, by using multiple operating we can operate multiple operating units. We can? We can operate multiple operating units. Operate. This is a different term. Next one. We can access multiple Ah, That is the point here. Without multi-arc also you can manage, operate, etc. etc. That is a different term that doesn't sync with the concept. See, I am always requesting, take the terms what we are using. Use the same terms. You don't use very, you may use very beautiful words in English. Right? You have many synonym words. But the beautiness you cannot see when you explain to somebody, they will find in the different way. The what terms, because see, product specific terms we have, and concept specific terms we have, industry specific terms we have, right? All we have to understand. Which term we have to use, which is the right term that we have to use. It's what you said, operate, handle as English terms, as that gives the meaning, relevant meaning, but it won't sync with this concept. Access, when you use the term as access, yes, 100% marks. That's all. Yeah, tell me. What do you mean by MOAC? No, next. Sure. What do you mean by MOAC? We can access multiple operating units by single response. Yeah, tell me what before, after, what you are talking about? Talking about uh, zero payments or something? In security profile, we can book. Why security profile is coming again? I am asking about MOS. Just say the definition you said correct, but should be by using MOS, we can access multiple operands from single responsibility. Given the same statement, but MOS is not mapped with that statement. Okay, that's what. And uh, how many type of security profiles we have? Next one. Five or six. If you are attending these classes to get job and to survive, you should be ready. I don't know. I don't see that interest other than two three members you should take initiate to know wonders will happen automatically okay please yeah tell me at least you tell me how many types how many security profiles we have at least number first first level least level is number second level is what are those third level is explanation you tell me just how many minimum how many type of security profiles we have? We discussed already. Next one. 
I am not asking number. I am asking how many security profiles we have when you talk about MOSC. One. Next. Next. Three. Three. Can you tell me third one? I am not interested in first and second. <laughs> first, so third one. If please find third one, I'll be waiting for next one. Two. Uh, tell me what are those? Huh? Not don't mind GL security profile. What about GL security profile? No, no. Fine, done. Next one. Two. Two. What are those? Sorry. Next one. I don't know why these classes are not uh, syncing with their understanding. Us. I don't. I am not finding reasons. Yeah, please. Yesterday, I think last session only we discussed, right? I explained. Global Answer is correct, yeah. Global security profile and the others, yes, please. Security. security profile. How you are answering? No, how you are answering? I just wanted to know that. How you are answering? Yesterday, huh? Yesterday I said. Yesterday. I told everyone, right? I think you prepared, right? Yes, you've gone through it, or else just is very much interested. That makes big difference. Okay. We have two types of security uh, say profiles here. Okay, I'm not asking profile options. You, you are somebody saying you the profile option names. Who asked the profile option names? I'm asking security profiles. When I talk about MOS, I give an example, so I explain. So you have two types security profile and global security. global security profile. Just please remember who are answering, they are eligible for this. No, otherwise, no. Tell me, explain what do you mean by security profile? You can access that uh, current not. Next one. What do you mean by security profile? Yeah. Fine. Okay. Let me take your point only. Just don't say in that way. It's like with the security profile, we can group the yeah. operating yeah. needs which are under 1BG. If the security profile, if you assign to responsible, then you can access. That is the point. What is the security profile means here? That is the point. With the security profile, you can group the multiple operating which are under 1BG so that if you assign that, the user will be able to access to responsibility to all the OUs which are under one BZ. Global security profile. Multiple operating units under different uses using global security. You, you what you explained your command, don't mind. <laughs> From which side I have to understand what you said? Can you repeat? <laughs> Can you repeat your statement? See, the content is correct. The formation is not correct. By using uh, Global security profile. Uh, uh, multiple operating. We can group. We can group multiple operating which are under different business. Right? The global security profile, we can group multiple operating which are under different business. That's it. If you assign that to responsible, accordingly, user can have access to all the operands. That's all. That great. I got to answer anyway. Thanks for that. So now we'll get into the system. Okay. We'll take the same concept. We'll see what setups we have to do to implement that concept in the organization. Basically, very primarily, when we are doing the implementation as a consultant, definitely we'll be using this concept. And coming to company and all, if they require, we'll define for them. Otherwise, for one responsibility, only one, one operating zone by default. If some company is looking for one responsibility multiple will create it otherwise at least this way will be using for the purpose of implementation where do you say we are doing implementation we have 10 operating units we have 10 operands to do the setups for 10 operating units instead of creating the 10 response say for example for accounts payables i want to do the setups accounts payables i want to do the setups client has 10 operating units to complete the 10 operating related setups, instead of creating 10 AP responsibilities to access each and every operating net, what I'll do is, I'll be using the this MOSC concept. I'll do all the setups. After completing the setup from one responsibility, I can do the setups for all. If the business want to access multiple operating nets from single responsibility, as per the requirement we'll be creating, first let's try to understand how it works. Later we'll discuss the other points. Clear, right? Fine. 
here we are going to have a few good questions please be ready for that the first point <clears throat> say create first we'll go with the security profile after testing this we'll go with the global security profile first we are going to test based on one bz create security profile please take all the points okay first we'll create the security profile then say assign security profile to responsibility okay create security profile assign security profile to responsibility then say run there is a program run i am writing don't uh, somebody was reading earlier okay please don't take in that way i'm saying just and you have to submit one program concurrent program called as security sorry list maintenance program there are the setups then we can go and test it testing means we will go and do verify whatever the setup you do accordingly system is functioning or behaving we will go and check it that's all Okay, we'll create the security profile and we'll assign that security profile to responsibility and we'll run the security list maintenance program. Okay, I will do that. What purpose we'll be doing also we'll be discussing. Before that, in which scenario we'll go with the security profile creation? What is the business case? Multiple Sorry? If we have multiple operating units. Uh, if you have multiple operating units, then we'll go with this. Please make it clear. For grouping of multiple operating units. To? Single if user want to access multiple OUs from single responsibility, we will do in that case, right? So here, how many operating units we have? Only one. Only one, right? At least to test that functionality, we need one more, right? Minimum. One more. Then only we can test. Otherwise, one OU means you cannot test it, right? So for that reason, but don't take this point as a setup. This is one of the setup. When you talk about MOVC setup, these are the setups. That's all. It's three only. But now we are going to create the operating unit. To test this functionality we are creating, that's it. But reality when you are working, OUs will be there. Based on requirement, you will be defining this. Okay. So first what we'll do is just we'll create the, create one more operating to create. To use any operating units in payables, minimum, minimum you have to set the financial options. Okay, say configure. Financial options. Complete these two setups. Create operating unit and to create, configure financial options so that that operating unit we can use for our MOAC testing. Okay, that's it. Minimum you have to complete this. Now, when you are going to do this, we have some question we will discuss. But anyway, let it be. <coughs> Fine. We know how to create an operating net. We will go and create one OU. Okay, we will go and create one operating net. From where we can create the OU? 
HRMS. Switch to HRMS. We have flexibility. I mean, we have a provision to create from inventory also, but generally we create from HRMS. What is the navigation? Structure, organizations, descriptions. Work structures, organization, description. Then click on new. So which operating already we created? Hyderabad. Now we'll create for Bangalore. Okay. And here you can write the location. If Bangalore is a existed, you can write, or else you can take some other location. I'm just taking Hyderabad since we don't have location as a Bangalore. No issues. Okay. Then up to here, you have to save and create organization classification. Select organization classification as operating unit. How to enable? Then what else? Yeah, yeah, save definitely. You have to save it. That I am not asking generally. We have to, yeah, what you have to do, tell me. Yes, we have to click on others. That is not required. See, when you say something, where I have to click, you tell me that. But I am not uh, asking what to do means what action you have to do. What? Yeah, we have to provide operating information or some other information. What information within that, what will be selecting? Primary ledger. Primary ledger. That means we will be specifying this operating it is going to be under which primary ledger and which legal entity. This specification will be given. Right? Just go to others. Here we have operating net information. Select and just place the cursor in this field. You know very well. Again, you want to take it. Okay. Then here you can give the specifications. Say okay. okay done. Now we have this one more operating net. Now next step is as we discussed, go and set financial options, right? So what we discussed MOC means from one responsibility you can access to multiple operating nets, right? That is very clear, right? Now I'm going to ask one question. If you please you should answer for that. So you know the navigation for financial options. Set up options, options. options. financial options. Fine. <clears throat> Definition of MOSC means with a single responsibility we can access to multiple operations by using MOSC. Right? Now I mean single responsibility or multiple responsibilities. I mean single responsibility or multiple responsibility, please. Single, single. single only, right? We cannot be in multiple responsibility at a time. We have access to multiple, but we cannot be in one multiple responsibility at a time. Now see here what I am trying to do is, I am clicking on LOV. What I can see here? When you can see more than one OU? Tell me what is the secret, why you are hiding that? My see my question forget about the what you are seeing my just try to answer business units not matter here so my question is when you can see more than one OU from single responsibility when you can see when you can access multiple OUs from single responsibility when you implement MOAC same we are discussing, right? When we can access means once you implement MOSC. But did we implement that MOSC? No. But we are able to see, right? Yes or no? Please. Yes, right? We are able to see. How? What system will do is, whenever we create business group, uh, sorry, business, yes, business group, automatically system will create the security profile with our business group. Okay. Now see, the point is, we are, in, we are accessing from single responsibility only. From single responsibility, we are able to see two operating nets. We are able to see two operating nets. Okay. But what we discussed, with the MOAC only, we can access more than one operating net. But without MOAC, we are able to see, right? The reason is, whenever you create business group, the same business group name system will create the security profile. Remember this point. It's very important. 
to avoid your confusion so with the whenever you create the business group the same business group name system will create security profile okay system created but if you assign then only that will work right that we assigned also did we assign or not yes yes who is answering my point is whenever you create the business group system will create the security profile automatically this is actual statement my now my question is did we assign system created security profile to our responsibility or not who are no everyone should be know why two three people why you have confusion you know you attended for classes right then you can be very sure on that why you still learn uh, what this what is that so i am asking our class right now other class questions i am not asking same same what we discussed i am asking based on that if already that is discussed you say according otherwise no we don't know you didn't explain that case i never face with you because i am not asking other questions my question is did we assign no. why first of all we didn't see that right so now we'll go and see where we but already we assigned my statement is already we assigned I, i'll prove it but i didn't tell you as we assigned because that will become confusion for you so i'll i'll show you that clear right now the point what we are discussing what we discussed whenever you create the business group the same business group name system will create security, security profile. profile now whatever i am going to show in the system don't take any point okay don't take any point just for information only anyway we will go and create as per our requirement don't take any point from now i'm going to show what are the security profile is created by system so security profile don't take this points not required i'll repeat it what is our business group name so actually this is a place to create the security profile what are security profile we'll discuss this is a place global security profile a separate form we have okay our uh, business group name is search with the call free okay security profile name is our business group name is the same business group name system create security profile name right within this normally with the security profile what we can do we can group we can group operating nets right but in this security profile see the security type what they set by default system created view all organizations so what is the meaning of that see if i one second one second yes you are right if i assign this security profile to any responsibility if i assign this security profile this is security profile name right its name is there with our bg name if i assign this security profile to any responsibility the security profile is created against bg right if i assign against this bg the security profile is created if i assign the security profile to any responsibility from that responsibility you can access to all the ous which are created under this bg that's it got the point okay without creating any security profile with the help of this default system created one i'll go and create one more business operating net as a call free delhi operating net can I access or not yes reason that that will falls on, under same bg with this bg we have the security profile this security profile already we assigned to all responsibilities how by using the profile option called as mo security profile and hr security profile remember and uh, now my question is let me ask the question what are the profile options to assign bg to operating uh, responsibilities profile list out profile options my my simple question is what are the different profile we discussed early, earlier now we are going to overwrite that state statement okay what are the profile options we can use to assign our uh, bg to responsibilities list out profile options hr hr underscore user type please 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 hr underscores and all uh, those are nothing profile even if you have underscores you should not use it but generally profile options we don't have underscores list out profile options then i'll give clue three we have list out hr security profile <coughs> hr security profile mo security profile mo security profile please please 
mo approving na next one three three i need one is hr security profile the second one is mo security profile hr good answer next one same copy yeah tell me like just uh, we have to go with other person my question is still i don't know why these are difficult for you answer the same wrong answer then next i am asking what are the profile options we use no no i am not asking you please uh, what are the different profile options we are using to assign the bz to responsibilities hr security profile that's it okay hr security profile hr business hr business group and mo security profile three we have right see this is important you are attending the classes means not a, so not a big thing you should attend minimum first then you have to get ready if you are not answering that's a different thing hr security profile hr let me write in this way mo security profile and hr business group what we discussed this point right by using these three profile options we can assign our business group to responsibility all yes correct responsibility that's what we discussed now the reality that statement is not correct because if i give you in that stage that will be big confusion for you that is i said in that way <coughs> okay only we use uh, hr say business group to assign business group to responsibility. responsibility but these two not to assign business group these two to assign the security profile by using hr security profile and mo security profile we can assign security profile to responsibilities by using hr business group we can assign i'll i'll prove it now but you can see but for this three we assign profile value of same business group name right yes. now we are going to see that uh, that is true or not so here we have a security profile right i'll put some here as a test i'm just changing the name i'm just updating the name save it now this security now what i'm saying now the different uh, now the current statement is by using mo security profile and security. hr security profile we are assigning security profile to responsible which security profile this security profile this security profile only we assign that will go and test it now go to payables i mean go to sys admin don't take this point not required you know how to verify how many profile options are assigned to one response right same i am going to show you profile system responsibility call free payables here how to find all profile options uncheck site and profile with no values then click on find so the mo security profile call free india business group hr business group call free india business group hr security profile this right now what are the test we written there that should get reflect here if this is security profile right if this is a business group the name will remain same if this is security profile that should get updated we'll go and see that this is a business group or a security profile security profile this is business group or security profile business group only see here a mo security profile what we have to ass what we assign security, security profile and see there clear right why you are using that profile option to assign security now the point is if i go to payables responsibility i am able to access two ous which are under our bz reason these profile options i assigned security profile to our responsibility by using you ignore mo security profile mo security profile you may not assign to financial related primarily that is used for this hr related uh, responsibilities primarily this is the one mo security profile will assign to financial related applications for this function if this you can ignore also not an issue this is this is what because for our accounts payables responsibility we assign 
थ्रू एम ओ सिक्योरिटी प्रोफाइल भी असाइन भी असाइन प्लीज सिक्योरिटी प्रोफाइल all leave it this that is a statement when you're doing setups all all leave it okay here the i'm talking about pages okay by using mo security profile we assign security, security profile, profile to this tables responsibility what rule we have within the security profile tell me what rule security type we have right what we have all organization view all organization that means if i assign the security profile to any responsibility from that responsibility you can have access to all, all operating units which are under same busy that's it same busy that's all this is what you have to understand clear right that is the reason without doing the security profile definition we are able to see other operating it also from same from same busy. from busy not responsibility now to be active to answer this points <clears throat> okay that's all clear right now by default we are asking right now we'll go and create the security profile we'll see how it works okay now let's take simple example now we have two or used two uh, operating units we are able to access okay now my requirement is i want to give access to only one or else two how to define and all we'll see that okay and first of before that what we have to do we have to complete the financial option setup right minimum okay let's go and do it from here you can take it so configure financial options for second operating unit set up options financial options see the more you write in your note the more you will be learning no doubt the max how much i mean the there are some people off of 30% 20% 10% they are taking into note the learning also will remain same in the same way same fashion okay just uh, i am selecting the second operating net i selected now i am going to set financial options for this right just take the navigation go to financial options simple point what i am trying to say is so already we created operating net for that we have to set the financial option at least for this testing purpose okay go to financial options Select your. Now I am able to see two operating units. Reason? No, we are under same basic point. We assign security profile to this responsibility by using by using by using what? M O security profile. If you are giving saying that point correct, otherwise something else. Okay, we are able to access this. We are able to see these two operating units from this responsibility because we assign security profile to this responsibility by using M O security profile profile option. That's it. The H R one you can ignore. H R primarily will be used for H R related application responsibilities, but we assign for all. No, it's not an issue. Then say okay. Then click on new. Here one more point we have to understand. Okay. Anyway, just select. future periods i am giving one that means now we are in which month no, no. november future periods means the november period whenever you open the november period in the next period december system will take as future enter so that it will allow us to enter the transactions in december also that will discuss when you are working on gl that is separate period status concept let's explain it here we have to take liability prepay mandatory accounts and all okay so this is very very important point which we are going to discuss so we have first operating unit right that is call free hyderabad for hyderabad which balance and segment value we used which balance and segment value we used company what point the company balance and segment value i am asking balance and segment you are saying my question is when we are doing the setups for hyderabad operating unit Financial option, which balance and segment value we used? Accounts payables. What is this? You are not getting my point. Please, please try to understand which balancing segment value we used when we are doing the setup for Hyderabad operating net. Tell me if you know. I did in the class only, right? Take your time, own time. I'll give you two minutes break, and uh, because it's a very difficult question. Okay, take two minutes. So, 
<coughs> we used thousand. That is the answer. Okay. <laughs> for Hyderabad operating, we use the balance in segment value. What company values we call as balance in? For which segment we assign balance in segment flex field qualifier? That segment values we call as thousand, not balance in segment <laughs> values. Please. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I am asking. Which balance in segment value we assign to Hyderabad? We use the, the thousand only. Now for each come balance, each operating unit, we have to use different balance in segment value. That's very very important. Remember, for each operating unit, we have to use different balance in segment value. Already thousand we used for Hyderabad operating unit. Now you are going to do set us for. Bangalore. If you want to take thousand, it will accept. Later, you will be having many issues. You cannot track the transactions which are belongs to Hyderabad, Bangalore. For that reason, we have to take two thousand. If you have ten operating units, you have to create ten balance and segment values. That is a simple concept. There are many cases, other scenarios, but simple cases. How many operating units you have? Those many balance and segment values will be managing. That's it. There are different cases for one operating unit. You can have a number of balancing. That's a different story. But general practice would be this: select 2000. Rest of code combination values you can take anything. Not an issue. Select account. Same accounts. Table. Say okay. The same for everything. You have to take 2000 only. Any setup, anything you do for Bangalore, you have to take balance segment value as 2000 only. Copy and paste and change the account. Account uh, name is prepaid expense, right? Say so, okay. And here, discount taken, copy and paste and change the account. Say payment discount. Done. The three are mandatory accounts. Yes, done. Next tab is suppliers purchase. No difference. Only how to understand. We have to use different balance and segment value. Rest of whatever we did, the same we are doing again. Go to supplier purchasing. Here, which inventory organization we have to assign? For this operating unit, which inventory organization is supporting that inventory organization? But we didn't create multiple, right? Yes. Okay. So we'll assign whatever we assign to Hyderabad. But reality, we don't do it in that way. Okay, that logic won't work. But just to complete the setup, I am assigning. So if this in this operating unit also have a inventory, then we'll create the relevant inventory. We'll assign. Some operating units may not have inventories. In that case, what we have to do? But inventory value is mandatory here, right? So create dummy. dummy, that's it. Create dummy inventory. The same dummy you can assign wherever you don't have real inventory for so and so operating. That's all. Then, okay, don't assign master. Master means through this this financial options for purchasing payables and assets, right? In purchasing, when you are creating the purchase order, the purchasing also will work OU specific. But if you assign item master, so from that OU you can select items. Which are created in our entire system for all the inventories. But your purchasing should have access to the relevant operating related inventory only. But if you assign item master, all items, okay, other than your inventory items, also you will be able to select that may take you in wrong process. So always you have to assign the right inventory for which inventory is supporting for this operating. Even sometimes one operating will have multiple inventories also, right? In that case, inventory people will be grouping the inventory organizations that they will be assigning. That's a different concept that we don't need to focus. But here, since we didn't create for this, we are I'm assigning the same. Rest you don't need to ch uh, change or you don't need to modify not, nothing. Okay, just save it. At least this basic setup complete so that we can go ahead with the testing process. <coughs> anyway, we discussed and we understand that uh, system will create the security profile. Okay. Let's ignore it. Ignore it. What system is creating? Any system created? But now we'll see. We want to create as per our requirements. Say simple example. Client has a 20 operating units. System will create the default security profile that will assign to responsibility by using a more security profile option. Every uh, from every any responsibility you can access to 20 OUs. 
but your requirement the user requirement may be two or use or three or use or five as per your requirement how to create the security profile we have to understand now we'll go and see that okay now take the point as create security profile the task is create security profile any question i think you are what is the question sorry how many operating units you can access how many you have those many maximum how many you have those many maximum how many you have now we have that's what i am asking the point you try to understand how many you have those many means what is the meaning of that n number n number of that set <coughs> fine so create responsible task name is create security profile sorry create security profile task name is create security profile Let's do it. Go to HRMS. Take all the points. Switch to HRMS. The navigation is work structures, organization, description. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. I'm just thinking something else. Security and profile. <coughs> okay. Security profile. We know very well, right? This navigation in this module. So I'm going with the same. So security profile. The task name is create security profile. Navigation is security profile. So you give whatever the name you want to give. Say I'll give the name as call free. If you want to access by default, because of the default security profile, we have access to two, right? If you want to have access to only one, you can create. Or if you want to access to, you can create. Okay. Now, anyway, we'll create uh, saying that two. You think now, simple example. Take we have four operating units, but we need access only to take that scenario. Now we don't have many, right? Take in that way. Say so call free two. O use access. So I'm writing the name as call free two O use access. These two OUs are under which business group that we have to select? Yeah, the two OUs are under which business group we have to select? So under this business group, how many OUs you have? All you want to allow all the responsibilities to access, or what is your requirement? Two. Only two, right? So if you accept view all organizations under this B, if you have ten. You may given just you are writing the name as two or you, but system won't understand. It will allow all. But your requirement is you have to select only two, right? For that reason, security type you can select to secure organization access. Okay, organization hierarchy or organization list. We will use the organization list. We will list out the organizations. Select it. Security type select as secure organizations by. Organization. Tell me, organization, organization hierarchy, hierarchy or organization list. Do we have organization hierarchy now? No, we are not using that. Is separately we have to define actually. That's not required for finance. Majorly for project account, project accounting area that is uh, primarily used. So in our case, we are going to list out how many OUs we are going to list out. This option, second option, will be using. Select this value. Now, what you want to list? What you want to group? Operating. The classification is selected as an operating unit. Okay, give the name and select your business group. Select security type as secure organization by organization hierarchy or organization list and the classification. What you are going to group? Operating unit, right? So select classification as operating unit. Then select organization, organization name. name, nothing but operating, operating unit name. Here say call free Hyderabad operating net operating unit. If I click on LOV, I'll see two only. Why? Yeah. Because I selected BZ here. Under that BZ, whatever you have, you can access to define. That's it. Now I'll select operating net. Save it. 
If you have multiple, this is how you can uh, group how many you require. Okay, right? This is how we create security profile. Okay. Any questions on this, please? Sir, what is meant by include and exclude? Sorry? Include and exclude. Where? Those, those are not applicable for this. Read out, right? The, we have a different classifications, etc. They are there. I get nothing. Fine. <coughs> then close it. Now, what is the next step? Assign. assign security profile to responsibility. We'll assign to payables responsibility to test payables. Okay. Take the same task. Say assign security profile to responsibility. Okay. Assign security profile to responsibility. How to switch to sysadmin, right? Okay. Navigation is profile system. Which responsibility? Tables. Already that um, by using which profile option? MO security profile profile option. Okay. Assign security profile to responsibility using mo security profile profile option that also just make a note okay. assign security profile to responsibility using mo security profile profile option okay. assign security profile by using mo security profile profile option Okay, fine. So already that profile option we assigned, right? By using that profile option, we assign system created security profile, right? System created security profile we assign. Now again, you don't need to enter that profile option name here. Already you can go to the existed profile options which are assigned. You can uncheck and go there. Now you can change it. You can overwrite. This is the one, right? Here remove this and assign. Call free to OU's access. That's it. Okay, to all your success. Fine. Then close it. Assign. Now, what is the next step? We have to run secure list, list maintenance program. Why we have to run? We'll do that. See, the point <coughs> is now I'll go to the payables. For payables, responsibility only assign security profile, right? I'll go to the favors. If I try to open invoice workbench, it won't open. See here? It's not functioning. Reason payables is in the big confusion. It has to access which operator. We assigned the profile option. We didn't update the same. If you run the secure list maintenance program, the assignment will get updated. Then payable can understand which OU should access and which OU should not access that is the reason we are going to run 
Just make a list maintenance program. That is the reason. Okay, let's go and run it. The security list maintenance program we can run from HRMS only. That because the profile option is related to HRMS. Profile option is HRMS profile option, right? So that is the reason security list maintenance program we have to run from HRMS. Say so take the task name, run security list maintenance program from HRMS. Run security list maintenance program from HRMS. Okay, run security list maintenance program from HRMS. Switch to HRMS. Go to SRS window. Any program means HR, SRS window only. Okay, go to SRS window. Okay. Say so, okay. Fine. Here you can select the program called as secure list maintenance. One second, it's not responding. I'll try it again. Okay, security list maintenance program. The program name security list maintenance. Here parameter. These are all are the parameters. parameters. Here the parameter is you want to run the security list maintenance program for which parameter? Which security program? We created our own, right? To select our own from this generate list for here we have a parameter called as Generalist yeah, program. You want to run the security list maintenance program for what? Whatever we created for that, right? So to select whatever we created, you have to select the value as a one named security program. Means this program we want to run for specific security profile. Select this value so that system will allow us to select whatever we created. Select program as a security list maintenance. Then select parameter. Parameter name is generate list for for this parameter value is one name security profile which is that that you have to select here what is the name we given call free to ou access that's all remaining fields you don't need to fill system will take automatically that you don't need to take a note also when you are taking the notes okay just two fields one is generate list for one name security profile second one is call free to ou access then say OK and submit. That's all. System will update the assignment whatever we did. Accordingly, it will grant the access to the OUs from one responsibility that is payables. Okay. So 
you know submit just submit that's all these are all the actions you know very well so submit now you can go to payables you can access switch to payables invoices entry invoices you can access to if you are a profile option in your security profile if you have more than three also two also the same you can see clear right you can see more than now if you have access to more than one operating into what we have to do you see here i'm opening this form but no operating is getting defaulted if you have access to multiple OUs from one responsibility what you can do is you can set one OU as a default OU. that means whenever you open the any form where we have OU field that OU will be get Default that if you want to proceed the transaction the same way you okay or else you can overwrite select and all don't say use the terminology overwrite will overwrite and will record the transaction of all. okay done now we'll go and set that profile option now we have access to two OUs but our primary primarily we need access to most of the time we'll record the transaction for Hyderabad say simple example so we'll go and set Hyderabad operating should get defaulted wherever you find the OU field in this in this in this responsibility responsible right your access is through responsible fine done <coughs> then go to sysadmin profile option means sysadmin right profile system select your payables Don't take this, I'll give the name. This is the name. Take this profile option. MO format, exactly how they written. MO colon space default of, but generally we call it as MO default operating profile option. Okay. By using MO default operating profile option, we can set default OU for specific responsibility. responsibility. That's very important. When when that responsibility have access to multiple, multiple OUs. OUs, that's it. These statements, understandings are very important. Okay, if, if you have access to multiple OUs from single responsibility, you can set a default operand for that OU by using MO, secure, MO default operand profile option. Click on find. Which operating unit you want to default for this responsibility? Which operating unit? All free Hyderabad operating. That's all. Then save it. Now, if you go and open the invoice workbench directly, you can see this OU name will be populated in the operating field. That's it. Select OU. Okay, then close it. Now we'll go and test it. Okay, then just change the responsibility. Go to tables, invoices, entry, invoices. See here. System is defaulting this since we set through profile option for only this responsibility. 
okay if you want to record the transaction you can record and otherwise you can proceed now can i record the transaction for bangalore ou or not yes, 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 yes. You can. okay if you are very sure tell me how many people say yes, we can create now now as you know all the setups right you know all the setups which we did and all you know all the concept all the logics we discussed i don't know how much you are interested to take the same points into your understanding and uh, other points okay now my question is simple question is i am very sure i can record the transaction for hyderabad operating net right because we did already now my question is can we record the transaction for bangalore operating net or not how many yes how many no then for both i need answers for that why how many yes how many no please very important this is very very important otherwise if you carry on other no issues leave it okay how many people says yes how many people says no please don't be silent you are not into no or yes how many people are yes how many people are no at least you should have some positive or negative understanding right no no it's not like mixed and voice okay please no how many may no good reason because no na no? okay leave it who are no okay who are no yeah tell me we don't have any supplier for this software we we have supplier right we created supplier right site 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 supplier site site what's you, what what about you how can you say no i don't agree with you why you are saying no i am not talking about payment i am talking about invoice please invoice only can i create invoice or not with this operating now as per current setup yes or no these points you should understand it is very very important yes or no invoice only can i create invoice now or not if i start creating can i create or not please quick answer what is your answer no sir no why we have to do setups for supply supplier also i will in uh... supplier already we have right we have supplier but we have enable in uh, operating unit also enable operating unit what is the meaning of that i am not Able getting options Able options can we record invoice or not yes sir. yes next can you come and record Next, which print assign operating? Print assign? Where? What? No, no, please. Can I record in my? Because you understand all the setups we discuss. If you understand setups, you should be able to answer to this. Can I record the invoice for I Bangalore operating it or not? No. No. Why? Uh, why? We didn't, as an operating. <coughs> We didn't. Don't tell me some different ways, different terms, and something. Tell me exact point. My question is clear, right? Can we record the invoice for this operating or not? You know what setups I did in everything in front of you only this, right? Or tell me, can I record invoice for this OU or not? No. Why? Tell me two, three valid reasons. No reasons. Then how can you your answer is invalid? Next one. No, no, not you. Just see. Just next one. No. Ah, uh, good. Answer is correct. Then. Tell me why. Otherwise, answer is wrong. The next one. Yes or no? No. No. Why? Supplier side to. If you say that point, I'll say one thing. I assign. Can I record? Next one. No. Why? <coughs> huh? Please here. Please let. Just wise, wise a little bit. Why? Next. Next. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Bangalore. It is not clear the player size. Okay. Okay. You created then. Can you record? Huh? Why? Now only created here. Come on. Yes, we all know that very well. Because of that only I am asking. Now only created. It's not like if you create yesterday, you can create today invoice. It's not like that, right? Because for just now, whatever you created, we cannot create. After one hour, you can create. That logic is not there. That is not the point at all. Only the point is which setups are completed. That is the point. Which setups really required. That is the point. You yeah, tell me why your question. No, why? Because just now created. That is the reason or uh, something else. That is very important. What options? Sorry. Don't say remaining all. No. You. The next one. Next one. Sorry. We have supplier site. We have? If you have supplier and supplier site. Hmm. You can create after PSN. Your answer. Because these points are very important. Simple. Yeah, as you said, many people said the same point. So because everything is ready, again you know to assign. You are asking from responsibility only. Again you know to assign any profile options to that. You can create. You don't find supplier. See here. You don't find any supplier. The reason is no supplier site is assigned to this operating. Okay, you assign. Can you create invoice? Yes. Yes or no? You have to. Open the periods also, right? If you have a new OU, you have to open the periods. So if you open the period, then you can create. Rest of things, nothing. See here. If I assign that, you can do that. When you are making the payment, only the concern is, as you said, the point you raised. That is, the bank account what we have that we have to assign to this OU. Organization access when you are creating bank account there. The bank account should get assigned to. This OU, then you can create invoice and you can process the payments. Just if you create OU, it won't be ready. Everything won't be ready. And again, if you are going to record, if you want to use a distribution set for this invoice, distribution set need to be created separately. That's a OU specific. In this case, so we can enter only manual. Otherwise, you can create a separate distribution set for your operating net, and then you can do that. Okay. These points are very very important. Okay. But for see, few people are able to catch, few people are not at all. They are not answering anything. At least no or uh, nothing. So see, it's very important. Very important uh, how you are responding. That's very important. Done. So we tested uh, security profile, right? We tested security profile. Now we'll test global security profile. We'll go and test. Simple, same process. Same process. Let's go and do it without taking much time. Okay. The same process. Here instead of saying security profile, I'll say create global security. Rest of setups remain same. So create global security profile. Then we have to assign that global security profile to responsibility. Then run security list maintenance only. There is no separate program for global security profile. Security profile, global security profile. Uh, program is safe. Then we'll go and verify. We'll test it and we can see. Clear, right? So create global security profile. This also we can create from HRMS. Just switch to HRMS. So take the navigation security global profile. Please take all the points. Task name is create global security profile. <coughs> create global security profile. 
create global security profile. Okay, create global security profile. So fine, give the name. Global profile or global security profile, anything you can write. Select security type as uh, same like secure organizations by organization hierarchy or list. Are you finding some difference when you compare with security profile definition? That is very important. You should understand that. There we are selecting BZ so that under that BZ, what are the OUs we have, you can select. But here you are not selecting any BZ because it's not specific to BZ. So that system will allow you to select okay any BU related BZ related operating. operating. That's all. That is the point. Okay. Give the name and select security profile as secure organizations by organization hierarchy or list. Now you can list out you want to access you need access to how many OUs. Classification is Operating unit. See here, if you click on this LOV of organizations, you can see all these, all are the operating units which you have in our system. Anything you can select. What are the BU names? Sorry, operating unit OU names. You can list out how many you want. That's all. <coughs> okay, don't take the names and all what I taken, just it's all about how to select you have to understand. Then save. What is the next step? Assign global, assign global security profile to responsibility using MO global. Same MO security profile profile option. That's how you have to say. Sorry, no, no, no. So you have business in uh, 100 countries. Okay, you are uh, taking care of global operations. Our global head. So what you have to do? You need access to everything, right? In that case, we can use it. <coughs> Profile system. Find your responsibility. Change it. Okay. All free go global profile. Next, we have to submit the program, right? Secure list maintenance program. Okay. Okay, we assigned global security profile to responsibility by using MO security profile profile option. Just go and submit security list maintenance program from HRMS. Go to SRS window, right? You know the navigation, right? Already you know, so that's the reason I'm just going on that. View. 
request click on find and you can do from there or else directly you can click on submit a new request say okay i'm going to submit only one request so same program security list maintenance okay security list to maintenance program okay generate list for see here now do you find uh, here uh, lov just in that just go on the scroll little right and click on this to open the list here we have a all do you find something which is related to global security profile one named global security profile you don't have any one named global security we have one named security profile okay now we don't have something like one named global security to select specific now only the option is you have to select that one all only because we cannot run it for specific global security profile it has to be submitted for all it will compile it will verify all select parameter as a parameter value as a all security profile generate list for we call as parameter here see the title the all are parameters this is a parameter value we call even profile option case also profile option name what we select for profile option profile option value just use this terminology okay generate list for so i can say okay and say submit click on no sorry sorry so the others are not required for us at all what current where is current this is a static users above one but people what we have values this is see basically this is hrms related but for our functionality we are using it current people only terminated people only this is that's what i said hrms related employees will have active employees current people means active employees okay this function can be used in the different other cases also hr related that's reason they given those values no need to worry about those options so which is relevant to us let's proceed on that okay just say okay and submit already i think we submitted no issues take some time because it has to verify all the security profile global security profiles See, we use the security profile and all to access OUs. A CM people will use the same to access multiple inventories. HRMS people use to access multiple HR organizations. Okay, depending on the business area, like uh, application area, will be using the respective. Thank you. 
Okay, then now we can go and test it. Two tables. Voices entry, invoices. Anyway, we set uh, this uh, Hyderabad of default as well as the same we have within the current global security profile. You set to default if you don't have there, it won't get defaulted. We know that. So what we can default, which is for which you operating we have access, only that OU only we can set default. Click on LOV. Now we can record the transaction for any one of this OU, but you have to make sure that supplier sites and everything is already assigned. But this OU already supplier sites are assigned, you can record that invoices. This are these many suppliers side uh, for these many suppliers sites are already assigned. But within that, I think periods are not open. So this is the predefined and all. See the message. The date you entered is not in open account. You cannot proceed. Okay, this is all about MOC. Okay, so that's all about MOAC. The next concept third party. Okay, so where we have that? Where we listed this concept? Yeah, so we completed this. Next concept is third party payments. I think almost we reached 12 o'clock. Okay. That's a five ten minutes not enough for this. Okay, we'll see in the tomorrow session. Okay, we'll see in the tomorrow session. And that's all.